Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the window expert. Today I want to give you this unbiased review of the Provia Endure window. As I take a look at this, I want to remind you that I do not get compensated for making these videos. No one pays me to give my opinions. This is totally my opinion, and I'd like to see what you think as well. Tell me where they nailed it, and tell me where they failed it. This is a vinyl window by a company named Provia. Provia has been around for a very long time. They're out of the Ohio area where we have a lot of Amish craftsmen. They make really beautiful doors. We sell their doors, we love their doors. And I had so many of my YouTube viewers who are exposed to this product every day in their market asking me, Jeff, what do you think about Provia windows? Are Provia windows any good? So I thought I'd make this video for you. This is a vinyl product. I just asked for a plain Jane white window. They make four different series. Okay, they have one series above this one and they have a couple of series below this one. But this is the series that most homeowners are gonna probably buy. This is a very high quality product at a very fair and competitive price. And they'll be able to make all the sizes you're probably gonna need for your home. Comes in over 40 colors to choose from, so you're not gonna have any issues with colors. And they make some really interesting things in this window that I thought I should point out. Number one, let's start with this. This is a vinyl window, but not all vinyl windows are made the same. This is a really high quality vinyl product with high levels of titanium dioxide, which is like sunscreen for your window because one of the most damaging things about the window is that it's exposed to the ultraviolet lights. Now think about this, windows and doors are probably the only product, at least the only product I can think of, that are continuously exposed to the inside and the outside temperatures and climate at the same time. Right? Like your roof is built for being outdoors. Your, your siding is built for being outdoors. Brick is built for being outdoors. But, that, but this is built for being indoors and outdoors at the same time. So you've got to have beauty. You've got to have operational processes. But you've got to have resistance to the heat and to the ultraviolet rays of the sun. And that's where a high quality window comes in. People say, well, Jeff, aren't all windows the same? Well, they are not. And in, if you look at the difference between a window on day one and, and year five or year 10, that's where you really see the difference. And what makes this window look so great in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years? The quality of the vinyl, the ingredients in the batter that make this a very high quality product. Now, looking at it from the outside, it's a little bit different than what we sell in Houston and maybe even further west as you travel west. This is more of a, a mid USA to the East Coast, uh, maybe the North, where you've had older homes, that have had, they've had wood windows. This looks more like a wood window that you're replacing. For example, behind me here is a Pella wood window. See how these profiles, they look more in the same width compared to what we sell usually down here in the South. We're gonna have a much narrower frame because we're replacing aluminum windows. But this has that look of a traditional wood window. You see it's got like a, like a bevel right here that comes across that. It's got a nice ledge across here like you normally see. And then probably the dead giveaway on this is I'm gonna raise the, the screen here. By the way, look at that. Isn't that kind of cool? It's on a track. You have a slope sill. Why a slope sill? Well, because that's what you see in a traditional wood window. <clears throat> so this is designed to look like a wood window, even though it'll function in, in any particular setting you have it in. It looks like a wood window, but it has all the benefits and the durability and the, you know, impervious to weather benefits of vinyl. Now, taking a look at the inside, I want you to notice that it's got a really nice, good, clean look. I love how they've done this little routed edge here. Sometimes cheaper vinyl is just kind of squared off. It has a nice routed edge, a good, clean glazing bead on that. It just really looks crisp and looks sharp. You can see this is rigid, strong vinyl because look at the corners on this. Look how nice and straight that plane is across there. Look at the nice 90 degree turn that they made on this. It's just a really crisp, good, clean looking window. Now something that they claim uh, is unique and different about their window, which I agree, is what they call their fine line welder system. Most vinyl windows, especially the cheap vinyl windows, you're gonna have a lot of scarring right here at these corners where it's welded. But this one has like zero scarring. I've got some pictures here I can show you. A lot, of vinyl, a lot of vinyl window companies will actually make this weld here and then there'll be a little scarring that sticks up and then it goes through a machine that cleans it off. This actually has a folding process where it folds the vinyl in like this and then it makes the weld. And what that does is it gives you a finished surface touching a finished surface instead of two raw edges coming together in a weld. So that's what I like about it, it's really clean. Look at this, it has a real nice jam 
cover right here so you don't see all the mechanism, all the operation. The cheaper windows are going to have a big hollow tube here where you can't, you, know, you kind of see all the machine behind the machine. Uh, dual locks on this particular unit. And this is really cool. Check this out. I'm going to unlock it, open the sash, and look, I can press here and press here, press those in, and it tilts. See that? When I press on that, it makes that lock move. So I love this integrated locking system. It's really nice. It makes it look really cool. But you say, Jeff, what about these locks? Well, these locks come in about eight different colors to match whatever window interior you have. But these are made out of metal. These are metal locks, not vinyl plastic locks. And you say, well, Jeff, isn't this a vinyl window? Isn't it like just easy to break that out if I wanted to? No, you can't because inside of here, they have this innovative weather resistant, uh, heat transfer resistant, composite reinforcement that goes across the sash that this is screwed down into. So you're actually biting into something that's really strong that's gonna help this be secure and, and stay closed and stay locked, um, helps you be safe. Now, if you look at the window too, you can see that obviously it has a couple other little features. These I call vent latches. Uh, some people used to call this a night latch until they got sued because people thought, oh, this, this helps me be safe at night. I can just open my window like that. Nobody can break in. Not true. These are just plastic. They can break off easily. So no, I would not call these a security latch at all. It just allows for a little bit of venting. Okay. But maybe your cat can't squeeze his head out of there. That's really the idea behind that. You've got those. Also, you notice that they have the grids between the glass on this unit. This is a sculpted grid. I can get the grids between the glass like this, which is good and it's easy for cleaning and keeping the window clean. Or I can get them on the surface. We call those an SDL, which gives it a more realistic, more robust, richer look. Now, those are more expensive, but it is an option for you if you want that. This window, not only does it tilt like I showed you, but also the top comes down. This is a double hung window, meaning the top and the bottom both operate. And while I'm here, I want to go ahead and point out the weather stripping to you. This actually has a triple weather seal. You look here, there's one on the inside, one just around the corner, and then one on the very internal part of this window, giving us a nice triple layer of protection from, from the weather. And down here where the meeting rail meets with the top and the bottom, we actually have a bulb seal, which these bulb seals are like, they're like some kind of silicone based. They will retain their shape forever. So when I close this window and pull that down and pull this up where these two interlock like this okay i've got a really good strong seal why because this is where you see air escape um, from out or in the heat comes in the heat goes out and you don't want that well let's talk about energy efficiency <laughs> these guys being from you know up north we call them up north because we're down in the south they care about cold weather right so check out this 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 unit the one i got here is my sample has a U factor of a 0.21, okay? Now you say, well, what's that in, in R value? Well, I've got a video about R values and you can go check that out. Um, and I'll talk to you about that, it's down below. But you can get up to an R9 if you're using triple pane with Krypton gas in this unit, R9. I mean, that's really, really pretty good, especially for a window. You can see my solar heat gain is a 0.18 and my Visible transmission, of course, goes down because I don't get much light through here when I get really heavy on the coatings. Um, but this is a really high efficiency window. And this window does qualify for the uh, Energy Star 2024 most efficient category, which means that if you have this window, you can actually get the tax credit that is applicable uh, and through, I think it's through 30, 30, 2030. We do have a video about that. I'll put that down there below to explain how the tax credit works so you can take advantage, advantage of that. Now you say, Jeff, boy, that window sure does look clear for being so high energy efficiency. Well, I had a, I had a unique sample built. The top is clear. The bottom actually has all the energy coatings on it. And that's why you can see it's a little bit darker, the bottom sash. So this rating I gave you is actually for the bottom sash, not for the top. I thought this would be a good chance to just pull this out and show you. I made a video recently about double pane versus triple pane. And uh, this is a triple pane on the bottom. This is a double pane on top. This is clear with no coatings on it. This has lots of coatings on it. But I want you to see just how amazing this is when I have uh, this spectrometer out. You can see here that the UV ultraviolet light goes down to zero. I mean zero. 
An infrared light, zero. I mean, you just cannot get below zero. And there's nothing better than 100% blockage of ultraviolet light and infrared light. Now, what are, you, what are you sacrificing? Well, you're sacrificing some visible light, right? Because it is darker. Uh, but look at that amazing solar heat gain number. I'm doing really good with this window. Now, let's look at the other one. Um, I'm going to have to read these to you because it's upside down. Uh, visible is 82, so I got a lot more light there. Infrared is 66, and the solar heat gain is 78. So obviously, you probably don't want to buy a window, even though it's double pane or even triple pane, that doesn't have any coatings on it whatsoever. While I'm on the outside, people say, you know, Jeff, I, I clean my own windows. How hard is that screen to remove? Well, let me show you. I think it's really pretty simple. Come over this way a little bit. You just raise it up, squeeze that way, and take it out. <laughs> I almost did it like Vanna White, didn't I? That was easy. Look, it's got a little weather stripping on there. You go, weather stripping on the screen? Why would they do that? Well, because when it comes down here, you see there's another weather stripping there, right? When the screen's closed, we don't want the bugs getting in behind there and sneaking in. Huh? Pretty clever. This is a really heavy duty extruded aluminum screen. So it's not that cheap roll formed aluminum. And I like how it's got this little pull rail right here, this little handle so that on the inside, I have something to lift when I want to lift my screen. I don't have to struggle for it or try to find my way around there. But look at that, it just comes out and just like that, it goes back in. So some people say, Jeff, I don't, I don't put my screens in most of the year. I only put them in, you know, when the weather's beautiful. Well, in this case, that's what you can do, right? You just put the screen in when you want it, take it out when you don't. This is a half screen, being a double hung window, you can also get it with a full screen. That way you can open the top and the bottom simultaneously. Uh, am I a big fan of double hung? I'm not a big fan of double hung. In this case, I think it's great. I think it depends on your application. But I think this window, if you're going to have a, a double hung, I love how the screen can go to the top or the screen can go to the bottom, put it where you want it and uh, take it off easily. I think that's really pretty cool. What do you think of this window? Do you like it? You want to know more about it? Check out my website, thewindowexperts.com. I have a list there of great window companies all over the country, many of them who sell this product, and I can point you in the right direction if you're looking for someone to help you with your project. If you live in the DFW area or Houston, Texas area, talk to me. I'd love to help you with your project. 